Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a small travel trailer that gives you a Murphy bed and bunk beds. Also, it has an awesome off-road package. This is the 2022 Forest River Ibex model 19 MBH. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first and the inside features. Then, we're gonna give you three things you love about the Ibex and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at this Ibex, a nice off the grid style unit in a super popular segment of small travel trailers. But before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going today? It's going good. We're here at the uh, RV Alley USA in Myrtle Beach. North Myrtle North Beach. North Myrtle Beach. And I'm so excited to take a look at this Ibex. It's like that off the road look, super cool looking. So um, yeah, we'll see what what, they just got, what it's got on the inside. And big shout out to this dealership, guys. Yeah, it's you can great. see it. It is a beautiful dealership, and we're super excited to be here. And Will, yeah, let's begin. All right. Model is 19 MBH. The actual tip tip length is 24 feet 8 inches. Well, okay. The dry weight 4,134 pounds, and the hitch weight is 465 pounds. Cool. Well, I got so much dang sweat in my uh, eyes. I know. Guys, I thought Carolina was supposed to be cooler than Florida. You guys, you guys lied to me. Right. Right here, we do have a nice power tongue jack, single propane unit, and then there's where your batteries are. Right over here, we have a nice diamond plate rock guard here, F uh, aluminum framing, fiberglass sides, and you got frameless window right here. And I love this front windshield. It lets in so much natural light. And I love the color of the Ibex. Right. The Ibex is sister products to the... Um, Nobo. Nobo. No yep. boundaries. So the Nobo is green. The Ibex is blue. I think they're both awesome. Coming on down the side here, we do got manual stabilizing jacks. Little bit of storage right there. Okay. Okay. Uh, nice power awning with LED lights. Right here, we do got the step above steps from Morai. Look at all this stuff going on here, Well, Right. Nice grab handle. Extended, extend the journey with the cold weather package, right? Asdell, which is green based material that will never delaminate on you. Also has the like off the road package. And um, if you guys want to connect with Ibex, just pause the video and scan that QR code with your phone um, and you'll be able to get it. LP quick connect on the outside well. You got the outdoor cooking set up here. Again, this is your adventure bound type of customer. That's you right. Know? LP quick connect and everything. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Goodyear Wrangler tires. I love those. Man, those are the ST235-75 R15s. Well, and that's a good looking tire. It is. Now, let me tell you guys something. This one, those tires will not be as smooth going down the road. Correct. It will actually affect your probably gas mileage. They're cool, aren't they? <laughs> Just like my tires, Will. Yeah. They're only made for looks. And then right here, Will, is where the bunks are. Check this out. Nice bada bing, storage. bada freaking boom. Well, this is for bikes, kayaks, storage, camping tents. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like you're going on an adventure in an Ibex. You know, it's, you could buy this for whatever you want, but I wouldn't be buying this if you're like a KOA camper. This is for the adventure seeker. Now, if you're the KOA camper, nothing's wrong with that. There's just cheaper alternatives. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Like you're spending a little bit more money for like the ruggedness. Yep. Coming around the back. Well, we do got a nice bumper for the stinky stinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier here. And look, they did go a little cheap with the Westlake, okay? Yep. Um, but again, they still at least gave you an off the grid style of wheel right there. And it is prepped for the Furion backup camera. Will, I am gonna climb up on the roof because I know there's a lot of action going on okay. up there. Be if careful. I can make it. Yeah, that's a big step. There you go. Here we go now. Actually, I lied. I thought there would have been a lot more going up on the roof, like a roof rack or something, but there's not. There's one AC unit, WineGuard digital antenna, and you can see a solar panel up there. But I, I see these tracks, and I bet you it's optioned for like a bike or a kayak rack. Here we go, sir. Last step. Oh, there you go. It is. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen taking his fat ass up on the roof, showing you what features the roof has to offer? Nobody. 
Nobody will. Not right. in Myrtle Beach. Not right now. Right here, we do got the 30 amp service. Underneath there, that's where you're dumping your black and gray tanks. Yep. Black tank flush right here. Again, I love the tires. Um, six gallon DSI water heater. Okay. Okay. Here's your potable water fill. Potable. Potable. City water connection. And then this here, the other side of storage. And there's some of your like outside table for that cooktop area. Cool. Well, well, the outside of the Ibex looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Well, it's gonna be a harder view. We're gonna to have to be doing the Macarena with We this. are, yep. It's uh, short and simple. You got the bed and couch up front, kitchen, dining area here, and then the bunk room and the bathroom in the back. Perfect. And well, before we begin, you guys know we're sponsored by Lippert. Lippert does have the new Lippert app for Scouts. Make sure you guys download the app, join Scouts. It's a great community of RVers, helping RVers, getting the first products from Lippert for free to test out. And it's just, an, and again, all RVs have troubles. So they help people with troubleshooting and stuff. Guys, download the Lippert Scouts app. Make sure you tell them Matt and Will sent you. That's right. And we love Lippert. Will. Yes. Check out the sofa here. Not a comfortable sofa. But it's a Murphy sofa, you know yep. what I'm saying? That that's what like nothing about this unit's gonna be plush. You know? Right. It's about being small, lightweight, and effective. Yep. This does drop down to make a bed. I'll show you that in a second. Right here, we do got a little bit of storage. Nice. Over here. Okay. Right here, we got a nice little countertop. Power and USB there. More storage right there. Storage above. Yeah, more power and USB there and storage right there. Then when you're ready to make this into the bedroom, <clears throat> you go like that. What do we say, Will? Easy peasy. Do you even watch the show, Will? Yeah, I forgot though. Bada we... bing, bada boom. That's right. Now it's a bedroom. America said it, Will. I know. Look at that. That's actually a pretty Looks good size. Great, actually, yeah. Oh man, that's very nice. Okay. Again, I love this window here. Good space to walk around. You got lights and everything. And then let me see that camera. Okay. There's even these cubbies back here, which is good for seat. Yep. Yeah. Yep, exactly. And then we'll angle that TV around. Okay. So again, doesn't matter if you're sitting on the sofa or laying on the bed, you actually do have a nice TV placement right there. That's yeah, very that's nice. Well. nice. Yeah. And then it does lock into place there. I'm actually really impressed with this bed and let me check something. Let me check something real quick. Okay. Let me go like this. Oh. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say it didn't feel like the type of bed that had a fold in it. Right. And no, it still it doesn't. Does. It still it still doesn't feel it, but it definitely does have the fold there. Yeah. Um it is what it is, Will. Okay. We don't make them, we just sell them. That's right. Over here is our awning controls, our lights, our porch lights, interior lights, another USB, and then, Will, look at this. Psh, America. America. John Cena! <laughs> burr, 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 burr. Oh, man. That's a blast from, blast from the past. If you guys remember the John Cena episode, yeah. it's, it's awesome. And we're not going to continue with that. But I think every time we do America, Will, we are going to add the John Cena. Okay. Uh, because we haven't been doing it. Well, we're we're in freaking I know, late August. I know, cuts, I guess, huh? Right. I don't know what they're doing. Um, Will, oh my gosh, I'm getting all distracted. What? You know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for the MSRP. MSRP. Let's go inside and talk to Arissa and get the MSRP. Okay. We're here at RV Outlet in North Myrtle Beach with Arissa, the general manager. What is the MSRP of the Ibex? Great question, Matt. That is $43,006. And we know if your name's RV Outlet USA, we got to get an outlet price on that. What's the sale price? Sale price is only $30,750. And if somebody's interested in coming to North Myrtle Beach to get that unit, how do people get in contact with you? Great question. Check us out at RV007.com or call us 843-756-2222. Cool, we'll start right up here. We've got some nice storage up top. All right. Nice range hood right there. Hood range, Will. 
We forgot to mention something. What's that? This TV runs off the um, batteries. Yes, it does. Very cool. Nice little window there. Good size faucet and sink. Did I already say two burner suburban cooktop. Very nice. Nice little spot for sponges or whatever. Little convection microwave. Little peasy. Yeah. Um, and then you do have a centralized vac, which is really nice and yeah. neat at this size. And it is needed, not just this size, Will, but like, again, you're going dirty places. You are, yep. Yep, you're lots of cleaning. Nice compressor refrigerator right there. Oh, hang on a second. Let me show the whole thing. Got well, it. why are you going so fast? <laughs> is it because it's 112 degrees in here? Probably. And then a nice pantry right there. Very nice. Cool. Nice little kitchen. Right, Go check out that bathroom, sir. Okay. Now, I'm not going to hold my breath. Yeah. Yeah, it's not passing. Again, you know, you got to give him props for the size trailer. Yep. But, um, you know, width is definitely good. Yeah, it's not passing well, but I'm not knocking it for failing. Either. Yeah. Right over here is the medicine cabinet. Okay. Okay. And then you got your sink right there with storage underneath. Yep. Right here. Very nice. And then come on out up. here, Will. Okay. Switch places with me. We are now trading places. I told you we had to do the Macarena. In yeah. Now. Plastic, womp womp. It's not in a good position either though, is it? Unfortunately not. Again, this is not a prime poop position. Okay. But again, it's not like it's a disappointment either. I mean, it's yeah, made the trailer. I mean, it, it's you such only a got small so much trailer. Room to work with. Yep. Right over here, Will, we got the bunk beds, okay? Okay. This bed, okay, this one flips up from nice. that side. Oh yeah, yeah, that's from right. From the outside. Yep. Um, so let me, we got some lights, some USBs here. Okay. Believe it or not, well, you want to know what's funny? It's comfy. This is nicer than some of the other ones. I got more headspace this way. Nice. Which is funny. Like the bigger trailers, I don't. Because the bigger trailers have more storage underneath the bed. Yeah. But because this one flips up the other way, it's better. Okay. And then what do we got going on on the top bunk? Um, Up here we got light. We got USB. Yeah, good head height there too. Nice. And then over here, we do got nice storage above the dinette. Very nice. Those are your tank fills and everything. Yeah. Uh, good looking balances. And again, the nice sliding windows. Well, it's 112 degree, degrees in here. And these AC units max out at 99, but it's only showing 97. Right. Because it's getting a nice wind flow. It is. This is a dinette, drops down to make a bed as you can see. And it's a singles dinette. There's no way two people are sitting on both right. sides here. It just is what it is with this unit. You got the TV and then, look at this. This is some of the other highlights. Does come with a JBL speaker. You know what I'm saying? Some yep. of the other highlights for the Ibex. And, and the, I wanted to mention this. So this is only a seven foot wide unit. And I wasn't right. I wasn't going to mention this because I wasn't 100% sure, but with this, it helps. It is seven foot wide and then it's torsion axles, independent suspension. You know what I'm saying? Because again, right, that's cool. Rocky Roads, yep. take me home to a place I belong. Speaking of which, sounds like the music's on. What? Sounds like the music's on in this. No, not in this, outside. Is it the outside? Okay. Yes, sir. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give people three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we just don't like about it, Will. What is first? Three things we love. First? Yeah. Okay, first things first. I love that front windshield. And truthfully, even though it's a bed that folds up, I love the bed. The bed yeah. is comfortable, it's nice. And the platform, Will, Sometimes these platforms, I lean on it and it's about to snap. I know. It's a really nice Murphy bed. Even with the fold, it's still pretty nice. That's number one. Will, like number two. I'm gonna go with that whole off-road look. And yeah. Off-road feel. It is really nice when you're taking, you know, going off the beaten path a little bit. Yeah. And um, to have, you know, that independent suspension, it sits up a little higher, the bigger tires. Love really it. Really nice. Well, that's number two. And then number three, Will, I am gonna say the bunks. Okay. Again, I like how that lower bunk had really nice headspace there. Yeah. Uh, did you show the storage underneath the bunk right I think there? So, yep. You can double it though, just in case. Exactly. And then the storage from the outside from that bunk, yep. how it flipped up the other way, is super duper nice. Well, well, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. May I go first? Sure. 
the dinette will. Yeah, it's small. Like, they should have made it even smaller because two people are not fitting on it. Right. Here. It's like a one and a half person. And right. You can't have a half person. So they should have made it smaller. Um, that's just dislike number one. Well, dislike number two for me, mm -hmm. I'm going to say the seven foot wide body. Yeah. It's Eight foot narrow. wide body, it would have been a little bit more spacious and you would have been able to fit a better dinette here. But I, again, I guess it's a seven foot wide body for those narrow places. Probably. It needs to be as narrow as your vehicle. Yeah. It can't be wider than your vehicle. That's dislike number two, Will. And then tell me a dislike number third. For number three, I'm going to go with the couch. It's just Talk here. very uncomfortable. Come here, come here, come here. Let's let's show America again. Yeah. Look how easy that I was. I know. Bada bing. Bada boom. There you go, Will. Will, you're learning. Um, yeah, I mean it's just, you know, it's not comfortable, especially if you have a rainy day and you yep. got the kids in here. Right. It's not gonna be fun. And again, nothing's wrong with it, but just know that like rainy days, you know, yep. this unit's gonna get small quick. It is. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in this unit, please go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com, fill out the contact tab, or call RV Outlet USA here in North Myrtle Beach if you live close. Uh, let them know you watch Matt's RV Reviews. They're going to make sure you guys get a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry. That's right. Will, what do you want to say? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I think the Ibex and the Nobas are really cool. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much yes, for watching and we'll, we'll see you next time.